Hey guys, it's Scar, and welcome back to another video. So, we're down to the final four players of the of the tournament. This round today, we're, I mean, I'm reading off of something, I'm sorry. If I messed up. <laughs> so, the last couple days of this past weekend were the quarterfinal matches. Next weekend are the semifinals. And then we begin 2019 with the battle we've been waiting for, which will be the final two players facing off. So, hoping this year's tournament was, has been a real pleasure and an honor to do. I've learned more from it and grown. <laughs> and I've also grown closer to some of the others, including the other main commentator, Little Firefly. She and I had only really talked a few times before the tournament in a voice channel, and I really only knew each other from the off topic forum called Band of the User Above You. And now thinking about it today, I don't really know how I could have done any of these matches without her being there. This countless times has only been her and I, and without her there I would have been solo all those times. But the tournament has also shown me how much the rest of the community de community depends on competition and entertainment from those in charge of things like this. This community is built off of friendly competition with others. Being a part of the staff for this event has definitely shown me some of the best of the community, community as well as myself. Before the tournament, I streamed just because it was fun and a lot of others did. I wanted to be popular like other YouTubers. But now I see that they don't do it for the fun of it. They do it for others, for their entertainment, just as I have come to do. I've learned to be more selfless and more thoughtful to the rest of the community's thing, side of things. I've also come to care for the community as another of my several families. Two of them being my biological family and my clanmates. But I wasn't always a YouTuber like this. Just six months ago, I was a normal player like lots of you guys are now. Then I ended up getting my microphone headset and became more active on my YouTube channel. Towards the end of August, more like mid-August though, I came to stream several times and got more involved with my friends' channels, often being featured in their videos for funny gameplay or mini games like hide and seek on the roadmap with Deathbringer. Then I saw the forums the forum for the years, this year's tournament. I immediately sent in my moderator application. I got accepted in almost right away, and I, with the high involvement I had within the community. Through this tournament, I also gained quite a bit of popularity, respect, and questions from others. Players I don't know recognizing me and asking me if I'm recording or streaming. Some even telling me that I've been doing a good deed by streaming the matches. I really, I really appreciate their feedback, because I, I may make this look easy, though it's definitely not. Being, being, being the right hand of the tournament hasn't really been an easy task, because at first there was the time zones that got to me. I never knew when 18 UTC plus zero was in my time zone. Thanks to another friend, which is Matt, I, who I relied on at first, I now figure out what matches when for the most part. Now the hardest part is keeping the streams as, la as least laggy as possible and entertaining you guys a lot for the sake of the... I messed that up as well. But now the hardest part is keeping the streams as least laggy as possible and entertaining anyone to the best I can. And the road hasn't really been, been an easy task, but it's well worth it. Not only learning more about myself, the community, and streaming in general, of how to take charge in necessary situations and be a role model for you guys to follow my footsteps if you want to choose this path. I commentate and stream in this tournament because I love doing it for your entertainment. I do it for the community and anyone else who may stumble upon my matches. This isn't about me, it's about all of you. I don't regret my decision to help out one single bit. But always remember that it's caring for others and believing in everyone, including yourself, that drives you onward and gives you a higher position in the world, not bossing others around. And I want you guys to know that I believe in each and every one of you.